It finished at Fullerton Park, Mar 51, Jed Forest 33. It was one of the few games which went ahead today with Fullerton Park passing a pitch inspection early this morning. But it was Mar who came out of the blocks flying with a Jack Scott try, quickly followed by a converted try for Callum Ingalls to give them a 15-0 lead. Jed Forrest retaliated with two converted tries from Gregor Young and Robbie Shearer Gibb before Mar went ahead again. This time Scott scoring a quick brace to complete a hat-trick with Colin Sturgeon converted one of them and adding a penalty. With the try bonus safely in the bag, Marr went into the interval 30 points to 14 in front, but Jed started the second period well, Owen Cranston going over for a converted try to reduce the deficit to nine points. Marr struck again through Blair Jardine, who crossed for the home side's fifth try of the afternoon, with Sturgeon once again on target with the extras. Jed refused to lie down and came back again, this time securing a try bonus with Robbie Shira Gibb collecting a brace and Finlay Scott kicking his fourth conversion of the day. The Borderers have been involved in some high-scoring games this season and have come back into matches late to snatch victories, but they couldn't quite get on terms with Marr today. Further converted tries for Marr's Fraser Grant and Gordy Reid put Marr past the 50 mark, and there was no way back for Jed. The visitors did get a consolation late try by Finlay Scott to put them on 33 points for the afternoon, but it wasn't enough. A mention for Scott Bickerstaff, who chalked up his 250th appearance in a purple jersey for Marr, and Curran McMillan, who reached his 50th off the bench. Final score in an 84-point thriller at Fullerton Park, Marr 51, Jed Forrest 33, and that now puts Marr in the playoff positions.